Hi friends, I'm Yamini and I welcome you back to my channel, The Saffron Box. So today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting and that is your marriage. So in case you are married or you wish to get married, I'm sure all of us look for a happy and fulfilling, a satisfying marriage, right? So we always wish for a good uh, relationship with our spouse who can be our friend as well. Right, so today I'm going to be talking about very few uh, tips which are easy to incorporate in your daily lives and I'm sure these will help you in, uh, you know, keeping your uh, marriage in a healthy state and uh, keeping good uh, positive energy flowing between you and your partner, okay. Now, uh, when we talk about marriage, as I mentioned earlier, marriage is ruled by the planet Venus. So any relationship, uh, your uh, matters of the heart are all the, uh, you know, it's the realm of Venus, the planet Venus. Okay, and uh, seventh house, of course, is the house of marriage, which is again very important. So you need to have a good seventh house and a good, uh, well-placed Venus in your chart to give you a good, successful marriage. Okay, this is what we study when we talk about, uh, you know, when we are studying marriage in someone's chart, right? So I'll just begin with a few tips. One, uh, Venus rules the day of Friday. So it's very important that the couple spends time with each other on the day of Friday. Okay, so do spend some time with your partner and, uh, you know, in case you want to give something, you want to buy something for your partner, do buy it on Friday and give it to them. Make sure that they use it on Friday. Okay, and uh, Venus uh, also represents clothes. It represents good perfumes. Now, I'm not asking to go ahead and go shopping. That's again a mutual decision. But, uh, you know, you can give each other certain uh, presents on sat on uh, the day of Friday if you wish to. Okay. Uh, it inculcates harmony between the couple. Okay. And uh, secondly, on the day of Friday, again, uh, one should always use some sort of, uh, you know, aroma in your bedroom, especially. You can use it for your entire house, uh, but do use some sort of an aroma, some good uh, perfume, which you and your partner like in your uh, bedroom, especially. Okay. We have all these, uh, you know, the oil diffusers, etc. these days and various aromatic oils which come so you can uh, use them and uh, you can use a you know your personal fragrance as well but you know use it definitely on a friday it's a remedy for you know uh, improving your venus okay uh, do wear good uh, light colored uh, clothes because venus rules clothes also as i said uh, you can wear a white or pinks or uh, some shades of red uh, you know, you can use while uh, getting dressed on uh, Friday, right? That also helps in improving Venus. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, coming to your bedroom, uh, one must use light colors in their bedroom, okay? Uh, you know, especially the master bedroom where the couple lives, uh, which they share. Uh, they should have, uh, you know, the walls should be light in color. They can be white. They can be light pink, they can be light uh, shades of beige, uh, greens should be avoided in the bedroom. Then uh, you should not be using too much of blue, though blue is very good for getting sleep in case someone has any sleep disorders etc. But uh, do not you know, paint the whole room blue, uh, That's that certainly brings in uh, you know coldness in your relationships. So use nice, uh, you know, a lot of people use uh, wallpapers these days. So do use some good, uh, you know, floral wallpapers if you like to, right? So the surroundings in the bedroom, the furnishings, the upholstery should be on the lighter side rather than on the dark side. Avoid very dark colors. Avoid red for sure because red brings in a lot of aggression. And in case you or your partner has some anger issues or you know has some you know tendency to uh, to becoming uh, very aggressive certainly certainly avoid the color red right uh, then always uh, you know on the bed one should try and use a single mattress 
so the double bed should have a single mattress rather than having two mattresses so if you can do that uh, please do uh, you know uh, try to uh, use a single uh, mattress which is double size right and uh, while sleeping as is the general rule as as we generally follow one should always keep the he uh, keep your head in the south direction right so that is something which should be used by anyone uh, while they're sleeping in the night but uh, for couples especially they should be using this keep your head in the south uh, while sleeping if you cannot do follow the east west as well but never keep your head towards the north right and on the bed uh, the wife should be sleeping on the left side of the husband right so a simple uh, thing to remember this is your uh, you know heart is on the left so make sure that the that your wife uh, for men i'm saying for your for your wife sleeps on your left that is towards your heart right so that's an easy way to remember which uh, which side of the bed should the husband or the wife take okay and um, you one should also avoid uh, metal beds try and avoid metal beds use wooden beds if uh, you can because again metal drains off a lot of your energy try to use a wooden bed and do not keep too many things under your bed uh, that's again something which uh, uh, you know is not advised for anyone for that matter but especially for the married couple do not use the uh, do not you know keep too many things under your bed do not stuff it too much yeah and um, uh, you can also uh, keep some fresh flowers bring in some fresh flowers on friday uh, preferably again on uh, in you know the colors of white cream pink uh, maybe some you know uh, multicolored flowers as well sometimes keep them in your room do bring them on friday and keep them and as soon as you start you know you see them wilting away throw them away and refresh them with new uh, fresh flowers okay so venus uh, actually rules over all these things of beauty as i said so your clothes your uh, you know uh, good perfumes fragrances flowers so uh, these things can be placed well in the bedroom to uh, ensure that the vibes in your bedroom are good for you and your partner yeah so i'm sure this helps and uh, i'll come back again with uh, certain tips for children and how to you know help them concentrate better in their studies uh, what all can we do for your uh, you know children to be more active and uh, lead a better life as such yeah so signing off god bless in case you like the video do press the subscribe button and uh, do not forget to tap the bell icon under the video so that you get regular updates thank you so much